again. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right, cool. So she goes to the chalkboard. Y'all know the chalkboard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure. All right, cool. And she writes out these four words. I am a winner. Mom had a boyfriend. Dad had a girlfriend. They're still married. She didn't know that, that we lived in poverty. That I was raised up in, in the, on the rough side of town, in the project. She didn't know that the, the parking lot that we played in had the crack even sprinkled throughout the parking lot. They had the red stains on the ground. It wasn't paint. It was blood shit. Like, she didn't know. She didn't know I was molested as a kid. She didn't know. I wrote it down, and when I wrote it down, I started leaning back in my chair. I'm slouching, like, man, forget this. Like, this, I ain't want to hear this. I'm trying to play cool. But then she started to explain what it meant. She said, always remember this, that I am a winner simply means no matter what you go through in life, no matter what you face, whether it's unfair, whether it's hard, whether it's crazy, whether you don't understand it, as long as you don't quit, you do win. Winners never quit, and quitters never win. And when she said that, I went from slouching back in my chair to now I'm sitting straight up at the edge of my seat. What, what you'll come to understand is that the most important opinion about you is the one that you have about yourself. Me. February 16, 1997. February 16, 1997. It was a day I never forget. I get the news that you need to go see your mama. She's in the hospital. And the doctor said in so many words, go ahead and kiss your mama goodbye. We don't expect her to live much longer. Most of the class, they're not even paying attention, but I'm paying attention. And I'm looking at my boy. I said, man, listen, I am not about to write this down. I hope she's not trying to make this right down. Yeah. <laughs> this is whack, man. Like, this is like the corniest thing I've seen. <clears throat> and then she goes, she said, hey, class, what I need you to do next? Go ahead and write down these four words in the top right hand corner of your paper. Alright. Now I'm not going to do this now, I promise you I'm not. I said, nah, man, I'm just playing. Let me go ahead and write this down. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying to get enough of this. But, but, but what she did, she had given me an answer to a test. Because at that point, when I stepped into that classroom, even though I was looking like I was okay, I really wasn't okay. I was failing the test. At least I felt like I was. I can't win for losing. Like, every single thing that's happened to me right now is bad. Like, nothing good right now. So when she gave me the answer to the test, that did something for me. Like, it was like a breath of fresh air, if you will. I needed to hear. I walk into the classroom the very next day. I'm with my sister. Sub is there. She's not there. I never saw her again in my life, guys, one time. But she had changed the whole entire trajectory of my life. Like, my life ain't the same anymore. I am, I am a, winner. a winner. And today, today I win. I win.